Hello, this is MD McCollum, and thank you for joining me today as we're going to take a look at animating a character in iClone and then using 3D Exchange Pipeline to move that character into Unity 3D. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to load up a stock G5 Chuck character, and what we're going to use this character for in Unity is an NPC or a non playable character. It's actually going to be a console operator, just standing there uh, uh, pressing some buttons on a console. That's going to be a very easy animation to do. And iClone gives us several ways to do that. We can even manually keyframe it. But one of the simplest ways is to just use the motion puppet, which has several different motions that come with it. And I'll go ahead and preview one of these for you. Now this is the motion we're going to use, but I don't really want his legs in that position. So I'm just going to mask the legs and the lower torso out where they won't move. And so now as you see, we're just moving the upper body. So let's go ahead and record that. And what this is going to be is our baseline animation, or our first run of animation. We'll go ahead and let that record all the way to the end, shut it off, and then let's go back to frame one. Now from there, we're ready to right click, go to motion menu, edit the motion layer. Let's select one of the arms, make sure mirror is checked, and let's move, I should say select one of the hands, and let's move the hands up and out like it would be on a console. Let's go ahead and rotate them. Now his back is going to be to the camera, so it's not going to have to be just perfect placement, but we may kind of use the body to hide it a little bit. And another thing we want to do is move the head to where it's looking at the console. Now let's see what we have. And that'll work for these demonstration purposes. Now with Chuck selected, I'm going to open up the timeline. We're going to open up our motion. If we had facial motion, we'd open that also because we want to make sure that we get all of our clip. So we're going to press collect clip, go to the end of the clip, press the left mouse button down, and highlight all of that, the entire clip, then right click, add motion plus to library, and this is where your motion options come up. The first part is for the character, the second part is for accessories. We don't have any accessories. So we're just dealing with the character. You can include the visibility key, facial animation, you can bake the constraint key. We're just going to leave this default and press OK. Now we're ready to go ahead and save it. I'm going to call this Chuck Unity 2. Now we select our character, we go back to actor, and we're ready to edit in 3D Exchange. Since Chuck is a default stock character, he comes with a lot of built-in animations, but we don't need any of those, so we're going to delete all of those animations. And we're going to import the Chuck Unity 2 Motion Plus animation that we saved. And there you can see he goes in to the position, but we also want to add this to perform down here. Now you can always test it by using the play button. So now we've got it set. You can rename it here if you wanted to. I'll just call it console. And now we're ready to go the FBX button, Game Engine Unity 3D, include animation. And we will call this Chuck Unity 2. Now we're ready to go ahead and bring this FBX file into Unity. Okay, now we're in the Unity 3 program, and we've got the Angry Bots uh, project loaded. All I've done is choose a control room out of it and move the main camera over to where it's focusing on those controls. This is where we're going to uh, export our character into. This is the consoles that he'll be running. So what we're going to do is just drag and drop into an iClone folder I've already created. I'm going to grab that particular FBX. You can drag and drop them into either either pane, either window, and we'll let it load up. There's probably going to be some textures to fix because the two uh, see normals in a different way. Just click fix now, that'll fix the problem with the normal maps. 
and we now have chuck loaded into Unity. Select the chuck character that we just imported. Make sure you've clicked on the rig button and change from generic to humanoid. Press the configure button, save it, and apply it. What we're doing is prepping the character to work in Unity. You'll see all, all kinds of parts popped out. Uh, all that does is showing you the different parts of this character. We're ready to go ahead and just click done. And now we're finished. You can always uh, close that up or open it up by just using that arrow. So let's go back to our main camera. Do a little positioning. And let's go ahead and grab Chuck. And let's move him into the scene. And let's position him. Now, if you move in the scene, you have to add an animation controller. So, down here in this lower area, right-click, Create, Animation Controller. And I'm just going to call it Chuck Controller. Then we want to select Chuck in the window, grab the animation controller, and move it over into the animation controller slot. Now, we also need double click on the animation controller and let's go ahead and move the console animation into the controller it doesn't matter where you put it now we're back at the scene and let's go ahead and take a look at what we have okay as you can see he's sitting there working the console now once you have him positioned you can come in here and change it however you want. You can control D and duplicate it. If this was a soldier in uniform or perhaps wearing a helmet or something where it didn't matter. Of course they're all going to have the same motion but this is just to demonstrate how simple this can be. There you have it. You animate an iClone, you go through 3D Exchange, and then you go ahead and load your character into Unity. There's not a whole lot to it, and both Unity and Realision have worked closely together to make this a simple process. I want to thank you once again for joining me, and I hope this helps.